Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about uh, user datagram protocol UDP. Um, it is a transport layer communication protocol. So transport layer is represented by two protocols TCP and UDP. The IP protocol in the network layer delivers a datagram from a source to the destination. The operating system supports multi-user and multi-processing environment and uh, an executing program is called a process. When a host sends a message to other host means the source process is sending a process to a destination process. The transport layer protocol defines some connections to individual ports known as protocol ports. An IP protocol is a host to host protocol used to deliver a packet from source host to the destination host. So in UDP the receiver does not gener generate an acknowledgement of packet received and in turn the sender does not wait for any acknowledgement of packet sent. This shortcoming makes this protocol unreliable as well as easier on processing. Uh, UDP is a part of internet protocol suite referred as UDP IP suite. Unlike TCP it is unreliable mm -hmm. and connectionless protocol. So there is no need to establish connection prior to the transfer. Now through TCP is a dominant uh, protocol layer protocol used with most of internet services provided a short delivery reliability and much more but all these services cost us with additional overhead and latency so udp comes out comes out comes into picture for the real time services like computer gaming voice or video communication live conferences we need udp since the performance is needed now what is the uh, requirement of uh, uh, udp a question may arise why we do we need unreliable protocol to transport the data we deploy udp where the acknowledgement packets share significant amount of bandwidth along with the actual data uh, udp stands for user datagram protocol udp is a simple protocol it provides non sequence transport functionality udp is a connectionless protocol this uh, is a type of protocol is used when reliability and security are less important than speed and size udp is an end to end transport level protocol that adds transport level address checksum error control and length information to the data from the upper layer the packet produced by the UDP protocol is known as user datagram. So this is this is the uh, important things uh, why we use the uh, UDP. What is the requirement of UDP? Now we have uh, features of uh, UDP. So UDP is used uh, when acknowledgement of data does not hold any significance and uh, protocol it is a protocol that is a uh, good protocol for data flowing in one direction it is simple and suitable for query based communication and it is communication it is connection oriented and uh, udp does not provide transaction and control mechanism udp does not guarantee order delivery of data so, and udp is stateless so these are the uh, features udp is suitable protocol for streaming applications such as uh, vuip multimedia stream so this is the features of udp now we have we we have picture of udp header so the source 
port is of 16 bits the extension port is of 16 bits total length is of 16 bits and checksum is also of 16 bits so in UDP header the source port is of a 16 bit long field used to identify the port number and the destination port is also of 16 bit used to identify the port of destination packet and the length is the length of UDB including header and the data that is 16 bit and uh, checksum is of a 16 bit long field it is uh, the 16 bit ones complement of the ones complement and the sum of UDP header pseudo header of information from the IP header and the data padded with zero octet and at the end to make a multiple of two octets so this is the fields of header now what are the uh, applications of uh, UDP uh, Here are a few applications where UDP is used to transmit data like you know, domain name services, DNS, simple network uh, management protocol, travel file transfer protocol, routing information protocol. Uh, UDP is used for simple request response communication when uh, the uh, size of data is less and hence there is lesser concern about flow and error control. It is suitable protocol for multicasting as UDP supports packet switching. UDP is used for some routing update protocols like routing information protocol. Normally UDP is used for real time applications which uh, can not tolerate uneven delays and between sections of a received message. So following implementation uses UDP as a transport layer protocol. Uh, the DNS service, uh, DNS servers, and uh, NT NTP servers. Application layer can do some of tasks through UDP, like trace route, record route, timestamp. UDP takes the datagram from network layer, attach its header, and uh, sends it to the user. So it works. Uh, very fast actually UDP is a null protocol if you remove checksum field so when we use UDP when we have to reduce the requirement of computer resources and when we are using multicast and broadcast uh, addressing mode to transfer the data and uh, when the uh, uh, reliability and security is, is less concern uh, according to the speed and size of the data so this is user datagram protocol